Hey everyone here from Tunnel Vision TV and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to remove anything from a shot using After Effects. So first of all let me just drag this clip into a new comp and uh, before we start let me just explain to you quickly if you don't have a lot of parallax in your shot you can basically remove almost anything that's static so as you can see this is a uh, handheld shot if i just play through that quickly um, it's kind of shaky moving around and if you look at the the actual building there's not a lot of parallax happening on that building so we can basically remove anything from that building so what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove there's a little date here if i just zoom in here uh, just above the door it says 1919 and let's say we want to remove that from our shot Okay, so first things first, let's go to our first frame and then I'm going to duplicate this layer. So Command D and then I'm going to double click on that top layer. So once I've double clicked on it, I can zoom in here a little bit more. And then right here at the top, we're going to use this clone stamp tool. Okay, so this basically works very similar to the clone tool in Photoshop. So I'm just going to click on that and then you can set your brush size. So I'm going to go to my brush panel and I'm going to set it to something um, about this size. Okay, then what I'm going to do, I'm going to hold in Alt on my keyboard and I'm going to click on a reference section on the image and then I'm going to paint over that using the pixels from the reference section and I'm just going to paint over it something like that. Okay, then I'm going to close this layer down. Okay, and then what we need to do is we need to right click on that clip and we're going to go to time and then freeze frame. And that's because we're only going to use the still frame from that little section and we're going to use that across the whole clip. Okay, next we need to draw a mask around that area that we cleaned up. So I'm going to click on the pen tool and I'm just going to draw a mask around that area. Just something like that. And if I solo that layer, you'll see it's only that little section and there's no movement because we added a freeze frame. Okay, let's unhide that layer below it and then I'm going to create a null. So right click new null object and let's call this tracker. And then we're going to track the layer right at the bottom. So select the bottom layer, go to your tracker and we're going to do track motion. And uh, then make sure, let me just zoom out here a little bit. Then make sure that you also tick rotation so that you have two trackers because we actually want to track the rotation and the movement. So let's just zoom in here a little bit more. And then I'm going to place my first tracking point to this side of the door and the second tracking side to the right hand side of the door. Just try and track something close to the area that you're actually cleaning up. And then I'm going to edit target, make sure that's set to my tracker null object and then click on OK and then we're going to do track forward. OK, once your track's complete, I'm going to click on apply. Make sure this is set to X and Y and then click on OK. OK, let's just minimize all those layers. So if we play through this, you'll see that your tracker is actually sticking to that point. So I'm going to go back to the first frame and then I'm going to select my clip that we added a freeze frame and I'm just going to parent that to my tracker. And that's basically that. So if we play through this quickly, you will see that the date has been removed successfully. So yeah, a really easy way to remove things from your shot. Like if you want to remove a sign or maybe just something on a wall. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And remember, if you want to see more tutorials, please click on that subscribe button. Cool. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers, bye.